It's time to put the sliding glass door in. We're Martin and Julie, and we're seeking a life with more freedom and independence as we build our off-grid homestead from scratch here in North Idaho. We've been building our house as a family and haven't gotten seriously hurt yet. But today, we're going to attempt something that we probably shouldn't do. It's time to put the sliding glass door in. It feels so much less safe up here right now. It's like, I know that I could have just fallen right through that, that uh, house wrap, but right now with nothing there, it makes me a little nervous, like standing right on the edge. <laughs> yeah, house wrap isn't a good protector. <laughs> How high up are we? Uh, let's see, that's nine, 10, how about 12 or 13 feet? That would not be a fun fall. If you've been with us for a while, you've seen us put doors in before, maybe even a sliding glass door, but this one's a little bit special. We have been waiting for this door since like December, I think. And we are also way high up here with nothing out here, right? So it's going to be a little tricky and I'm a little bit nervous about it. Maybe we'll fall and maybe it'll crash to the ground and break all in pieces. Who knows? Hopefully not. We'll find out. Something tells me that this thing's gonna be a lot easier to carry upstairs if we take the slider out. What do you think, Jules? Yeah, I think this thing is a beast. And it so, is. yeah, let's try at least to get it out. Make it a little easier on ourselves. This is actually from Lowe's and they did a lot better job of like framing it in and the handles are really nicely secured to the two by fours. The door, I mean, look at these, look at these giant, giant zip ties holding the door closed see how easy they are to open. <laughs> wow. Hmm. All right. We'll just try to un unlatch them here then. There we go. That one's off anyway. All right. Huh, look at that. There's even styrofoam in between it. Well protected. Yeah. All right, let's see if we can get this guy out of here. Let lift up. It doesn't want to come out yet. Oh, nice job. Yeah. Like this thing by itself is probably like. I don't know, 100 pounds or something, 50? It's, <laughs> it's significantly heavy. All right, so we cut the weight in half. I think we can get it. <laughs> I said it's pretty wet. I bet it is. Put 
Ready? Yep. That was really heavy. I'm glad we did it, but that is not the worst of it for sure. This thing attaches to the outside of the house. We're on the inside and there is nothing to stand on on the outside. We're gonna have to be super strong. I think we got all the screws out. Don't let that hit you if it falls, okay? Okay. Ouch! Okay, it fell. We did it. Now we need to get the ladder, cock, cock it all up, and uh, screw it all in. That's lame, huh? We just have about a million screws to put into it and it should be good and some sealing stuff and things like that but it's coming along good Oh, I did it, man. Oh, I did it. That's 
it's a little tight though. Maybe the, I bet the rollers need to be adjusted. We did it, man. Look at this, watch. Ready? <laughs> we have a sliding glass door. <laughs> That's yeah. beautiful. Isn't that cool? It's way cool. <sighs> We want to make sure and seal up this area really good because water comes off of the roof or rain hits the deck and then splashes up on the door. We want to make sure that it can't get in underneath or around the door here. So we're a little bit concerned about this area here with this ledger board. We don't want the water to run down and then go behind the ledger board. So we're just going to put some along here to keep that water out from behind the ledger board. Of course the siding should do that there should be some metal flashing as well once we get to the siding but until then i want to make sure it's protected we're still trying to decide what kind of siding to use on the house and the garage and apartment and so if you guys have a type of siding that you like, would you please share that with us in the comments below and we will check it out to see if we like it too. This is for the pan for underneath the door so that any water that gets through the door kind of seal thing goes in the pan and has to run back out of the house. Look behind you and up. Hey, there it is. <laughs> We were looking for this thing. <laughs> it's like, where's Waldo? <laughs> yeah. Bam. This stuff sharp, huh? That edge? Yeah, it's probably pretty sharp. Definitely want to be careful and not cut yourself on that. One beautiful pan, but does it fit? That's the question here. Oh, look at that. Fits beautifully. Okay, don't fall off the edge. Okay. Look at that, man. It fits. This molding right here just comes with it, this brick molding. We'll end up taking this off later when we side it and put a put a trim on here that matches the siding. Yeah, because this stuff is ugly. <laughs> yeah. But it is awesome to help you put the door where it goes.
these stairs are super sturdy. You guys have seen us carry super heavy stuff up here, but there is one weakness. Check this out. Can you see that, man? It wobbles back and forth this way. We're gonna go ahead and tighten that up. I'm wondering how somebody who's been making YouTube videos as long as I have can fail to hit record. I don't know, but check it out. Way more solid. Dun, da, da. You remember when I broke this hammer? My dad used this hammer right here to frame our house when I was a kid. Oh, well, sorry dad, but the hammer's dead. My friend Dave over at Maker's Movement did a beautiful restoration of my broken hammer. Go over to David's channel, Maker's Movement, and check out his restoration video of this hammer. He did an awesome job on it and an awesome job on that video. I will link to the video down in the description of this video. Please put in the comments, Martin Johnson Off Grid Living sent me. I'd love to see how many of you guys go over there and check out his video. I went ahead and picked out this video right here for you special. Also, I put Dave's video down here of the hammer restoration. Go ahead and watch them both and I will see you next time.